Hey, hey developers, today we're going to look at two amazing Udemy courses. One is called the Complete Web Developers Course 2.0 by Rob Percival, and we're going to compare it to kind of the most well-known web development course on Udemy called the Web Developer Bootcamp. You may have heard of this one, Colt Steele uh, actually did that one. Don't forget that Udemy is having a $10 sale. It ends today, so make sure you check out these courses if you want to buy them. I put all the links below for both these courses in my description. Thanks. All right, so the first thing you'll probably see when you're looking at the Udemy course here from Rob Percival is that it's a little different than the one from Colt Steele. So in Rob Percival's The Complete Web Developer Course 2.0, it's only 305 lectures and 30 and a half hours. On the other hand, Colt Steele's course has 346 lectures and 43 hours. They both have a ton of different students, 198,000. Now, 10 hours, I don't know if that's, I mean, that's a, that's a big difference, but I don't think that should be your deciding factor to pick one course after another. I mean, it depends on the content, of course. Uh, one other thing is that they're both really uh, active communities, both Rob and Colt take care of their students. There's a pretty active forum. They're always, uh, they have multiple instructors going in and, and answering questions. There's a Q&A that you can see is being answered and, and taken care of. Um, they, both of them have been doing announcements. They updated the Bootstrap 2 theme just recently. So you can see both courses and you see the same thing with Colt Steele's course. They both are highly active and they talk to people. And, and so if you buy either one of these courses, you're not going to be left out if you decide not to, if you just, if you decide, if, if, if you have any problems and you need to get some help, there's quite, uh, they're both quite active in that respect. Um, for me, I've gone through about 37 of the courses. Um, I've kind of skimmed through a lot of it. Um, so I've kind of have an idea of what to expect. And uh, I think it really comes down to the course content. So, a lot of people, like I said earlier, the, a lot of people compare these two courses, the Complete Web Developer Course 2.0 and the Web Developer Bootcamp, to try to decide which one's better. And so it really comes down to what you're looking for. So let me kind of highlight some of the content that you get with Rob's course. And by the way, um, like I said before, these are both $10 right now in the App Store for Udemy. So I put a links below if you want to go and pick any of them up. And if you're on my... Uh, if you're on any of my videos, you can just look at the description, you can see here, and you can look at Udemy courses, and I'll have all the links for these courses. And if you do buy one of them, it does help out the channel. I do get a few bucks, so thank you. So you can see here that uh, they have a getting started, which is basically the introduction. How do you install stuff? One nice thing about Rob's course that I didn't see in Colt Steele's course is that he actually gives you uh, some free stuff. So you get some, you have to go to his website, you register, you put in your username of your Udemy account, and he gives you um, a couple of programs, like a, a theme, um, an ebook download. I mean, it looked kind of, it looked neat. Some of the the free stuff you get on it. I mean, that's nice little perk. I mean, nothing, nothing you probably couldn't find somewhere else online, but still nice. You he talks about it here in the paragraph somewhere, but we'll get back to that. Then uh, kind of the basic sections you want to know. So he goes HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript. The JavaScript section is uh, is pretty thorough. He goes through a lot of the basics, but Cold Steel definitely does has a, quite a bit better content on the JavaScript side. If you look at Cold Steel's course, you get the introduction to JavaScript, and then he deep dives into control flow, booleans, conditionals, while loops. And then functions, he goes to arrays, he even goes into objects, and there's you know quite a few courses. And he actually has advanced JavaScript, the tricky stuff he calls right at the end. I always uh, last time I did the review for this course, Cold Steel's course, I said that this felt, this felt a little tacked on, but it's nice I guess if you if you want to get a little bit more information about JavaScript. Now. Uh, on this side, you only have one kind of section on JavaScript, and then it goes into jQuery, and then he gets into Bootstrap 4, and and you can see in the, in the uh, Cold Steel, he doesn't really get into all that. In fact, I don't think 
he does have JavaScript. I don't think he has a uh, yeah. He has a jQuery, an advanced jQuery, um, and I think both of them uh, have a Bootstrap section. So that's true. Now, where the where these courses diverge a lot is that in Rob's course, he has a section on WordPress, PHP, and MySQL. So inside of Cold Steel's course, you actually have sections on Express and a, just a general database section, which he goes into MongoDB. So different, definitely different approaches there. And there's also no um, Cold Steel's course doesn't have any section on WordPress at all. So this is kind of uh, nice. So if you this is this is kind of one of the big differentiators, I would say, if you look at both these courses and you wanted to know to, uh, which one to pick is if you're looking to, to learn about um, PHP, MySQL, WordPress, like you want to get in the WordPress ecosystem, he actually goes into about how to create a theme. There's actually this download of X theme that he goes through, how to create a blog, and then he goes deep, deep dives into PHP. And if you know that WordPress is, it uses PHP in the back end, so that's kind of nice. On the other hand, kind of, um, it's all preference, but some people think that PHP is I think it's an amazing language, but some people look down upon it. And so kind of the new hotness is like Node.js and Express. And so that's what you get in in Cold Steel's uh, Cold Steel. I mean, some people could argue that people should be learning in Ruby on Rails and not Node.js either. So, I mean, there's going to be always arguments for both. So if you want to go with a little bit newer um, technologies, maybe you want to learn Node.js. If you want to go with a little bit older, more tried and true, and probably a little bit easier to learn than Node.js and Express, you want to go with PHP. So that's why, but what, that's what's nice about it. I mean, you kind of get these are definitely two different approaches. Uh, one other thing that uh, was a different different differentiator between the two was the mobile apps section. So you can see here in the mobile apps se app section that he goes is through um, it's something called app.js which is a app.js is a kind of, uh, I don't know, like a framework or kit to create mobile apps using HTML that can be used on iOS and Android de devices. Um, there's a lot of different, these kind of kits out there. There's like Cordova, there's, I guess there was jQuery mobile at one time. I, I really don't like this as much as just running native code, like just learning Swift. If you're doing, doing iOS, you know, learning Java. If you're doing using Android and just using the, the native stuff on it, but I mean, it's kind of nice he left this in here. I, this is not my favorite. Um, other than that, there's a couple other changes. There is a Python section. So Cold Steel goes over Node.js, and um, but he doesn't really have any like non-web frameworks. So um, in section 13, uh, Rob goes over Python, which he kind of adds in because he thinks it's kind of a stepping stone to other lang languages and frameworks. I mean, he's not going over anything special here. This is just really basic stuff on loops and how Python works. So it, it feels a little out of place um, in the in the course, but I think it, it, it can be valuable because then you're getting something a little bit different than, than uh, Cold Steel's course. Um, one other big difference between the two courses is that there's really only one, as far as I can tell, I couldn't see any others, there's only one actual app you create. And this is the bonus section, the Twitter clone. And it's only, you know, it's only these these parts here. So only these five parts, I mean six parts, which kind of goes over everything you've learned before and it puts it all into this nice long package. but. You know, lot, some this is kind of a debate on how people want to learn. Some people want to take a problem like HTML5 and break it down into these small little parts. Other people rather have you teach by doing, like creating world, real world apps. And if you are in that style of creating more real world apps, then Cold Steel's course will probably be better for you because he has a lot more examples of how to create um, programs. So. He, he goes through all the basics, the bootstrap, intermediate, HTML, CSS, but then he has all these, these, these projects. So he has like the color game projects. So, I mean, these aren't, 
I don't think these are real world, I shouldn't say that, but at least kind of gets you an idea of like, okay, now I've learned this knowledge, how can I apply it to, to something real? And then he creates a to-do list. I mean, to-do list is pretty boring, but once again, it's, it's a great learning uh, learning project. And then there's another optional one, a Patatap clone. So he, uh, this Yelp camp really puts a lot of different concepts together, routes, and you can see, I mean, this one's only six, two, three, four, six sections, but you can see like there's different parts of it. Um, so here's more uh, Yelp camp. So he kind of goes back to it at different points. He'll teach a concept like authentication, and then you'll see how to add that into your this example, this Yelp camp. And it, actually, there's quite a few sections. So overall, I I can't really recommend one course over the other because it just depends on what you're looking for. If you're going in and you you're brand new to web development. And, but you kind of are interested in getting into the WordPress ecosystem, maybe creating, being a WordPress developer, creating themes, or maybe you're, you're thinking about, um, you know, fixing WordPress sites uh, or creating plugins, then you probably want to get something like Rob Percival's The Complete Web Developer Course 2.0 because you're going to learn PHP, which you'll definitely need. You'll need, a, you'll learn WordPress and Bootstrap, well, WordPress and PHP and MySQL, which are all kind of work really well together for you if that's what you're looking for. And of course, this is probably not going to be enough to, to jump in, but it's going to give you a pretty good taste of what you need to learn. And you can kind of use that to springboard on to, to, uh, to more learning. On the, on the other hand, if you're kind of interested more in Node.js and Express, uh, you may want to pick up may want to pick up this course instead because you're going to get your Node.js, you get a lot of a lot more examples in it, and and uh, you're going to create a bunch of different apps. And instead of learning MySQL, you're going to learn MongoDB. It's kind of one of those NoSQL databases. So it's definitely a different approach from both of them. You know, if you can, try to pick both of them up, but just see what you're more interested in. That would be my advice. So thank you once again for listening. One, and just remember, you can go and get any of these courses, just click any of the links below in the description. And this is the last day that Udemy is selling these courses. So pick them up today uh, for a discounted price for $10 for, for a while. So thanks, take care.